All right, everyone, it's that time again. I'm going to bring you another Gaming Espresso. Hi, this is Uncle Gamer. And we've got an interesting topic. First, we're coming at you live from PDX Land in Portland, Oregon. We're on day, full day two, day three of the event. Uh, tomorrow the event ends. We're having an absolute blast. I got uh, Jason Evangelo from AMD and Leslie Piritano sitting over here next to me. I've got Barnacles just across the table from me. I've got the Beard of Puget Systems hanging out. Hey, Jason. Oh, my buddy. And and we're, we're here. We're having a lot of fun. Uh, this gaming espresso, I, I actually had oh there's leslie <laughs> there's my girl okay it it's it's going to be a little different uh i had some topics in mind and this weekend i had something happen on my trip to portland that i felt it was important to take the time to talk about um i got on the commuter flight from marion illinois to st louis there were eight people on nine people on the commuter flight excuse me four of us we're gamers, and we all played Fallout, and it was really cool because I was wearing my Fallout shirt, and that's how the conversation got started, and as the conversation rolled on, we're talking about Fallout and our experiences in Fallout, and it was just an amazing conversation while we're waiting to board the flight, and then I asked the question, what platform do you play on? Where, how do you play? And everybody but me was a console gamer, PlayStation or Microsoft. And I was the only PC gamer. But when they would say to me, I game on console, that's how they said it. They hung their heads and looked sad when they said they gamed on console. Jason's laughing at this. It's not funny when you think about this. I asked, why? Why would you do that? What's wrong with gaming on console? And they said, because every PC gamer that we know looks down at us because we game on console. That's not cool. Okay, that's just not cool. So I get to the St. Louis airport. I met this wonderful young man in the military. See, there's the beard. The beard was in the picture. There's the beard. I, I met this wonderful young man who is, he just finished his training for the military, for the Army at Fort Leonard, Missouri, and he's on his way to Alaska, and he's got a six-hour layover. And this young man is so excited because he bought a portable gaming system to be able to game during a six-hour layover at the airport. And we're sitting there talking. And again, by the way, it was a Fallout flight because he had just bought Fallout and wanted to experience it. And he opens his backpack and he pulls out this wonderful device. I wish I'd have had this when I was a kid. The, the top opens and there's the screen with speakers. And underneath it's an Xbox One. And he plugs in his controllers, he puts in Fallout, and he's sitting there on the floor playing Fallout. Amazing. And when I posted this to Facebook, the first reply was, somebody buy that boy a gaming laptop. Folks, this is not cool. PC Master Race has gotten out of control. It, it's, it's wrong at just so many levels. Because... It was started as a joke. It was started to make fun of ourselves. And instead, what we've done is create our own prejudice when it comes to people that play video games. If you're not gaming on my platform, you must be bad. If you're not gaming with my brand of video card, you must not know how to game. If you're not using a mechanical keyboard, you can't be a real gamer. If you don't have a gaming mouse, you're not a real gamer. If you don't water cool, you don't understand PC gaming. We go on and on and on with these prejudices that get created. Many of us are hardware enthusiasts. We love hardware. We love to push the limits of hardware, and that's great. But we forget sometimes that our hardware is a tool, all right? A master carpenter does not spend time telling people about his hammer. Okay, look at my hammer. It's got RGB lighting and dual fan cooling. He doesn't care about that. He cares about the cabinet he made or the home he helped build or the, the deck he put into a home. Those are the things that matters. As gamers, we should be talking about our experiences within the game. I talked with these people. They were on console. I was on PC. But we talked about Fallout. 
We talked about the fallout experience. We talked about the, the boss fights we'd encounter together. We talked about the way we built our characters. We talked about the things we discovered in the wastelands. This is what gaming is about. It's about playing the games. And we get so wrapped up in the hardware. We get so engrossed in the hardware that we forget sometimes that the hardware is just a tool to help us do things. Maybe you use your hardware to render video. Maybe you use your hardware to work on spreadsheets, deal with your bank account. Talk to your mom who's across the country. Talk to your friends who are around the world or play video games. But at the end of the day, what you use it for is more important than what you use to do it. Sure, I want you to buy a, a Sapphire-based video card, okay? Not going to lie to you. And I'm sure the people from AMD want you to buy AMD-based products. I'm sure the people from NVIDIA want you to buy NVIDIA-based products. I'm sure the beard of Puget wants you to buy a Puget system, okay? I understand that. But at the end of the day, the really good people in these companies, the really good people in these communities, understand that it's what you use it for that's important. And if you're happy with what you use it for, then what you bought is the best technology for you. So the next time you talk to somebody who games on a console, don't look down at them. They're a gamer. They're just like you. It doesn't matter. We say it doesn't matter what their sex is, what their orientation is, what their color is, their religion, their politics. None of this matters. A gamer is a gamer. We've said that. At PDX Land, I've said that numerous times. Well, you know what? It applies to the platform they game on as well. It applies to the hardware they use. A gamer is a gamer. If you enjoy video games, spread that passion, spread that enjoyment, and quit finding an excuse to belittle someone else. Enjoy what you've got. Enjoy the moment. Enjoy the games. And until I see you next time, game on. <laughs> I've yelled too much this weekend. This is bad. This is bad.